self-love is a lot more than looking at yourself and being like i am so beautiful it's so much more than just loving your outwards appearance you know i feel like self-love has gotten watered down to this thing of you need to like what you see in the mirror and i feel like people don't even go down to understand that self-love is way deeper than that self-love is self-care you know because when you love your friend you don't just love your friends because they're hot and sexy do you no you love your friends because of who they are you love your friends because of their smile or the way that they dance the way that they speak the way they write poetry the way they paint pictures the way they see the world you love your friends because they are whole humans that have minds your friends are whole humans that think and they be and they are and they live and you are also a human i am a human and i feel like when you care for your friends you do things like offer them food when they're hungry. You offer them a shoulder to cry on, a hug, a forehead kiss. Like what the, you offer them forehead kisses. You share your snacks, you share your time, you share your energy. You listen to them when they're talking to you. You try to understand them deeper. And this loving and this caring of your friends, like that's what self-love should be you should care for yourself the same way that you care for your friends and it's not even just like listening and being there for your friends or appreciating them it's also like making sure you're drinking water it's making sure you move your body it's making sure that you eat breakfast in the morning that you refill your ice tray so you can have cold water that you make your bed in the morning that you buy yourself clothes that make you feel good that you do the things that you enjoy that is all self-love i did shrooms um a couple weeks ago like the beginning of may and i realized that i hated myself which is a crazy realization because i am well yeah i'm someone who's deeply insecure um i'm someone who thinks that they appreciate who they are as a person but I realized that I actually hate myself. Like, I don't love myself at all. And I love so many things. Like, I love a lot of things. I love the way that the world works. I love the people in the world. I love that I get to exist in the world. I love every single thing around me but me. And I was just like, whoa. Because the care that I was talking about earlier that you would give to your friends i don't give that to myself at all and i need to do that because i think that's important because i feel like also why wouldn't you want to love yourself or why wouldn't you try to understand yourself the way that you try to understand other people you're with yourself every single day like i hear that all the time about how like you are going to be with yourself at the end of the day you are the only person you have at the end, the end of the day and i yeah okay i get it i get it but then on shrooms i got it because why do i spend so much time not caring about myself i'm doing more more and more things that make me feel like i'm doing things that i love and I'm making more art, I'm going in nature more, I'm drinking more water, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and like, I've been making the changes to make myself love what I see, to even not even love, to just like what I see, and I don't know, it's helpful, because I also had this whole thing about how, like, if, like, I have to like what I see in the mirror. I had this whole thing about I have to love myself in my natural form. I have to accept all of my flaws. No, I don't. Like, you don't have to accept all your flaws. You're allowed to change. Like, your body is literally just a physical vessel. And, like, I shave my eyebrows off and I'm stretching my ears and I get piercings, I get tattoos, and that makes me feel good. It's helped me to love myself because right now I'm in my natural form, but I feel good about it. and. I don't think you should have to try to force yourself to love exactly what you see in the mirror. You know, I feel like you should be allowed to change. 
and maybe this is contradicting myself i don't give a fuck because it works for me but you don't have to love what you see in the mirror because that is not the epitome of self-care or self-love you're allowed to change yourself you're allowed to change your hair you're allowed to dye your hair you're allowed to get body modifications you're allowed to do whatever the hell you want to your face and your body so it becomes something that represents you on the inside because i think that when it all comes down to it you have to you have to (laughs) how do i say it you have to be what you feel what you feel is on the inside and what you you just have to let what your inside seep out of you and just become you and more and more I'm talking about this, I'm realizing that self-love actually has nothing to do with your physical sense because of how easily you can change it, but you can't really change who you are because at your core, you are going to be a person. Like you can be, you can be a terrible person. You can be Bojack Horseman, but I think that at the core of Bojack Horseman, he's not a terrible person, like at his core. That's not who he is. He is a damaged individual. And he's done a lot of bad things, a lot of bad actions. But I don't think that means that he's a terrible person. Because, you know, like... Or maybe he is. I don't know. Does that change who he is? Does that... You know, I don't I don't know. I feel like a lot of people who do bad things are just hurt people. And I think that that... Like, at their core, they're not someone who wants to hurt other people like hurt people hurt people but to hurt people want to hurt people no they're all it's all just at at our core we are so much um but yeah that's all fuck it getting that off my chest